Hello and welcome to another video. This one is focusing on LMS Duchess of Abercorn, which is quite an old model. I bought it boxed and I also bought two LMS coaches, a standard and a brake, along with it, which are also boxed. Um, I'm going to be looking at the run end. He's tender driven, so this moves freely. He's tender driven all from the tender. And I'm going to be looking at running him. We're only going to be running just the LMS. I've parked all the other trains up so you can hear her. Um, I got her for a very good price. Very, very reasonable. So let's load her on the track. So we do the engine first. on the bottom of the tender drop that down there we go so tender's on then it's on right let me just quickly test there we go right so if we send her oh god the, the, the bogey on it, the front isn't on Okay, there we go. If we send around a few times on our own. Also, there's a new cliff face in the background. She looks very good. Extraor I'm going to review the detail in a moment, one time. We should give her a run round. So, detail wise, beautiful Duchess of Abercorn nameplate. All the linkage and systems are lovely. She's number 6234 with a beautiful LMS tender and some cold texture in the top. Sadly not N NEM couplings, but they're still, they still look fine. She also in the front has a lamp, which you might... be able to see if I, if I bring around a fork out we're going to see the lamp. No. Carry on with the detail. Um, so she's got handrails. You can feel the rivets on the tender. No spring buffers, but but all in all, I'm impressed with the linkage system because I've never actually, to be honest, I've never owned a steam train with a big linking system like this. I've never owned like a 462 like this. I've only ever owned stuff like the biggest I've ever owned is an 060. Biggest, that's the biggest steam train I've ever owned. So I'm quite proud of her. So what I'm gonna do? I've seen. I'm not. I'm not very good at detail, so. I'll refer you to like in City 82 if you want a good detailed review. I don't know if he's done Duchess of Abercorn, but it's worth having a look. Originally she was part of like a set, I think. But I don't know. So we've got two LMS coaches, we've got the standard and the brake. They're Hornby ones. I forgot to mention the model Hornby. Here's the box. He's got an old packaging. Made in England. So she's one of the originals. I'm going to couple her up to two LMS coaches, which are 
nice fair detail. What I'm going to decide on to do is that Rowing Mod magazine that's just come out, that £3 collector's one, is there the same shade with the same kind of roofing. They're XLMS coaches, so I might collect a few of them to mix in until I collect some more of these. So if we bring our up there, then change point. She never stuck on points because she's only. Because I think she picks up one side of the track from the Et Loco, and the other side of the track is picked up from the Tender. So if you spread out across some points, you've got no luck really. Personally, I think she looks beautiful. If we film her coming around here, I'm now out the hole, so. So you can see the cliff face in the background, then she'll disappear down beyond there. I'll come back out. We get a nice low down shot. She looks, I think, she's stunning. I know I keep saying it, but she honestly is. Also, you'll see that I've started to bring the ballast in around the corner. But my latest achievement is getting that that corner filled with um, the plaster. And I've kind of started stacking up bits of scenery up there, just for now. I'll probably just have a church up there eventually, but this is the Duchess of Abercorn. If you bring her on a really slow crawl, you can see she's nice and quiet. I haven't even opened the tender to see what condition the motor's in. It just sounds good enough as it is. Also the coaches, they're nice corridor coaches, as you can see inside. Sorry about the focus, not very good on this camera. And also what I'm thinking to do right now is putting a blank plate, cutting a bit of card or something to put on the back. Just went over there and points fine. I think now she's run in a bit, it helps a bit because she's not as seized up. So if we speed her up a bit. That's only on 30%, but I think the only downfall I find this, if you go any, if as soon as you get to about 60%, any more above 60%, it's 60% it's full blast. If you turn up any more than 60%, nothing changes. Apart from the light gets a bit brighter. Such a bad zoom on this camera. So this is the Duchess of Abercorn from Hornby. Definitely worth getting. It's a great model. Well worth it. You want a good steam train? Get the Duchess of Abercorn. She is absolute. Also, I can feel my arms just above tender. I can feel how um hot that tender gets.
and I parked the coaches up. Disconnector. Since that's not straight, you might notice that in other videos, but yeah, this is the touches of Abercorn. Well worth, well worth having a look at. Obviously, Hornby don't make her anymore, but she's well worth looking into or looking for on eBay. She is a lovely, lovely engine, and I very much love her, and I'll take lots of care of her. Um. Thanks for watching. The next update will be to do with the scenery over in that corner. Um, thanks for watching. Cheerio.